my oddballs. I just thought I would pick them out and go through them, show them to you, and talk a little bit about them and why I consider them oddballs. So on the right you have Anselia Africana. That's an oddball because there's only one of them. There's only one like it in the genus, the species, that's it. Uh, then you have what I have from Edemophorcus loei. Then you have in the middle there a Dendrobium speciosum munificum. We'll check the tag. Then I have Tetratonia dark prince and my Neophenicia falcata, which is one of my oddballs. So my Ancelia Africana is one of my newest additions to my collection and I just immediately put it into my preferred setup. It wasn't doing well in the little pot that it came in and I thought if it's going to go downhill then at least I know I've tried. So there's nothing really going on down here in the roots. Clearly it's not a thriving plant at the moment but you know when I say there's nothing going on then at least it's not going downhill to so obvious to the naked eye so Dignus Tropicana has a beautiful beautiful Ancelia Tropicana growing in semi-hydro with Lecca so I'm hoping that this is going to be okay clearly I bought this Africana because Africa right and if that ever becomes the size in the bush that I have seen it in real life, happy days. So we'll see what this one is going to be up to in the near future. If not, this is definitely a plant I will replace. Some, I, like I mentioned to you, I won't. But if it, this one doesn't make it, I will replace it. But I'll wait for a bit more of a mature, established plant. I got this from Orchid Man in the Netherlands. Uh, on eBay and uh, honestly the picture looked a lot more promising than what I received Anyway, we'll see so Ancelia Africana. I Really hope I can make it grow and thrive in my climate and in my setup Demophorcus loei projected bloom time 2030 <laughs> maybe even 2035 because this is all I have to show for in my two and a half years of owning this. When I got it, it had seven leaves. All right, some, you know, the lower leaves were seedling leaves. They promptly fell off. I tried to support them with bamboo skewers. I didn't want to lose the leaves, so I made like a little rig to keep those supported. But no, that didn't work. So it's been growing, you know, these two are the remaining leaves that I have from the first, I, first plant that I got. And then it grew this leaf, and now it's working on another one. It took to semi-hydro pretty quickly. I mean, okay, again, this is self-watering, but the Lekka concept. It took to it very quickly. And I believe that the drop of the leaves, the seedling leaves, it was mainly due to the fact that it changed its environment and the climate. But, you know, I have it in uh, dappled shade. I don't want it in direct sun at the moment. It might seem to be a big plant, but it's not. This is definitely a seedling. And like I said, if everything goes well, projected 2030 is bloom time. I'm guessing 2035. <laughs> I might need to bequeath this to somebody. <laughs> and next to it is my Dendrobium speciosum, I think. Munificum, sorry, Dendrobium Munificum. It used to be Inobulbum. But isn't this one just funky looking? I love this one. I'm a long way off blooming, a long way. The first time I saw this and said, uh, you know, put it on my list of I must have this orchid was on Alberto's channel. And uh, his was in bloom. Of course, his bulbs were much bigger but just the blooms are spectacular. But not only that, the plant itself, I love it. I mean, I got it when it had these two bulbs. I think these, yeah, just these two bulbs. And then it grew this one and this one, which lost a leaf. I'm not sure why, but anyway, happy days. We do have then 
a subsequent little growth that came right afterwards, right here. And now we're building up some momentum with a bigger growth. And <laughs> it just cracks me up, this hairiness that it has. You know, it reminds me of maybe Wilkinson's sword ad. <laughs> you want to go for it. It's a very tactile plant. <laughs> if you enjoy touching your plants, then this is the one for you. Oh, it's a long way off, but as an oddball, it fits into that category. And Tetratonia Dark Prince. You've probably seen this. If you haven't, I did a quick scale topical treatment on this because I was like, are you kidding me? This is not happening. And I'm just having a look to see if there's any more. Uh, what I sprayed just now was a bit of water because I am in the bright sun. Are you dead or are you alive? You are alive. You are... Okay. So, quick update. I need to go for a second round. My first round was 10 days ago. Just with alcohol. I'll, I'll put a tag up for the video. But yeah, it needs another go. And this is my oddball because I don't have another one like this. This is uh, a cross Tetratonia. I'll put up a... It's a Brotonia with something else, which I forget right now. But I'll put it up on the, on the screen. But it's doing fine otherwise. It still hasn't bloomed for me. Even though we've got the color back. I was thinking it was a bit more sun tolerant just because the foliage reminds me very much of um, Tolumnias or a Zelemnia or something like that. But it went pink relatively quickly and I thought, whoops, maybe not. So light-wise, it had enough light to bloom and it didn't. Well, now we've got a reasonable color back and it's growing lots of new growth. And as you can see, one of them is the scale problem right there. We'll take care of that now. So growth-wise, it's doing well. I've got what I can see, one maturing and three more popping up. I don't know. I'd like to see it in bloom. In the meantime, let's deal with the scale first. And then why am I considering here my Neo Phoenicia Falcata and Oddball? Well, if you saw my delinquent Neos video, you know that uh, they are all actually now, I want them to get established in semi-hydro. So this is my Oddball in, maybe I shouldn't be touching it. Maybe I'll touch it down here. Just touch that other. Don't want to touch the pot because this one is super healthy, doing really, really well. And yeah, it's the oddball because I still have it on moss. Um, when this moss gets changed, I'm going to have to check and see how it's doing inside, whether I'm going to pot it up into my preferred setup just with Lekka and self-watering. Because as much as I love seeing these traditional setups, absolutely gorgeous, um, it's not it's not feasible for me and uh, we can talk about the cost factor of the sphagnum moss and I have to import it and it's expensive but also I can't be doing this every, every two years and there's something to be said about clean moss this moss is fresh it would be all only the outside that is showing the the green algae color and I'm monitoring it very closely because I don't want my roots to suffer. Um, the other ones were moved into Lekka because I could see roots going funny when they touched the moss. And uh, yeah, and that was with fresh moss or with algae moss. So it, one had nothing to do with the other. But at the moment, all the tips are looking good. Everything is just tickety-boo. So this is my oddball Neo in my oddball category of things I only have one of. Maybe one day, two of the Ancelia. So yeah, just a little look at the ones that probably won't be in the spotlight that often. Well, not having said that, the Neo will, because when that comes into bloom, it's gonna be quite a little show. It bloomed on three spikes last year. Why shouldn't it bloom with three spikes again this year? So we'll see that. And then we'll keep an eye on the Tetratonia there. And Mr. Fuzz. <laughs> I love it. And then here, slow. 
Mr. Slow. He's slower than a frag or a path. So he beats that competition. Well, and then my dear African, the one I would really, really like to see do well. So I hope that you found this interesting and have another little insight into what is lurking in my collection in the corners that are not the standard big guns and big top this and all that business. Just other ones that I have to care for. Thank you so much for watching everybody. And everybody be safe. I hope things are easing up in wherever you are in your area. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.